So hi guys, you have bought a 360 camera and shot some 360 pictures. Now you want to share it with your family and friends. So how do you do it? I'm going to show you how to edit these pictures and share it for free. First you have to go to the insta360.com slash download and then you will see the options to download. I got an Insta360 One X. So basically you click on the image and then you will be redirected to the download page. So we have to download this one Insta360 Studio 2020 360 editing software. So it depends on what operating system do you have. So I have a Mac. So I have to click here to download. I already downloaded this one. It is a pretty straightforward thing. And one thing all the Mac users have a little bit of problem is how to resolve unidentified developer error. So they already have a manual as to how to solve this one. Basically you go to security and privacy settings and then you select the option open anyway. Then you can download it. So once you have downloaded it, let's see what to do. So basically this is how your Insta360 Studio 2020 interface is going to look like. So when you download the pictures from your camera, 360 camera, they are going to be in the form of .insp. So just double click them and they are going to be loaded in this uh, studio. So basically we have all this different forms, tiny planet, where you can look your pictures in tiny planet in crystal ball so this is how your picture looks in the crystal ball default natural view flat so basically this is how our pictures are going to look like so when we want to share we want to edit it because uh, basically when you are uploading the pictures to share, you need to have a .jpg or .png form to share those images. So this is what we are going to do. So first let us just export the picture. Yeah, we are going to just export it in a highest resolution possible. I'm going to call this a test picture. Okay. So it's going to take some time and it is now exported. Now what to do next? So now if you see, we have downloaded the image as test.jpg. So if we double click this one, this is how our image is going to look like. This is what we downloaded. So now how we are going to edit this one? One of the ways to do is uh, to edit it using uh, Adobe Photoshop. So, but what if you don't have Adobe Photoshop and if you want to do it for free? There is a software tool called Pixlr. It's an online photo editing tool. You can go there and edit it for free. It is pretty easy. There is one thing called Playful Pixlr. The thing about the Playful Pixlr is that uh, you don't have more options when compared to the advanced pixlr so for example if i go to playful pixlr i can directly open the image from here or i can directly drag and drop the image from here on this one and i'm going to edit it using full hd that is 1920 pixels max and if i say apply you see the options here these are limited the main option I'm looking for is the clone tool like you use in Photoshop. I can't use it here. I want the clone tool so that I can remove myself. So I'm not going to use the playful pixlr because it has like the basic crop and uh, brightness and contrast. So I'm going to use the advanced pixlr option and see it remembers my image. So I can directly click on that one and uh, do the additions. 
and do the editing. So this one is basically I'm scrolling my mouse and adjusting the size. Okay, the whole thing is like I want to remove myself from this one. So I'm going to select the clone tool here. And uh, as soon as I select the clone tool, here the source tab is selected. So basically I can uh, select the source. So I'm going to select the source here. And once I select the source, it uh, changes to paint. So I can just paint it off. And uh, I'm going to fast forward and uh, continue this one as soon as I'm done editing this one. Basically, we can continue doing this cropping and uh, like you've seen here, I removed myself from here using the crop tool. Okay, so we are done with the cropping and now if you want to brighten this a little bit, I can go to adjustments and click on brightness and contrast and brighten it a little bit i'll say 40 so now the image is brightened up this may not be like a great looking picture but this is gonna do it to show you how to share the 360 image and how to edit the image okay so once when you are done editing you have an option of uh, downloading the image from the pixlr you can just go to file and save and I'm going to name it edited picture and download it so now the picture is downloaded and this is how the picture is going to look like so this is our edited picture and now we have to share it with our family and friends or embed it on a website. Let's see how to do this one. For sharing the pictures, there is a website called, uh, we have a website called panoraven.com and I'm going to give you all the links below my video so that you can just directly click from it. So basically they have editions in English, French and Spanish, but we are in English right now because that's the language we know. So for this one, the beauty of this one is like, you don't have to register or sign up or anything. You can directly upload it by going to quick upload and select the upload option. So once you click the upload, you can click on the edited picture, which we edited using the Pixlr and click on open. And that's it. It's going to upload and it is going to give us a lot of options like for copying or for embedding or sharing it on the social media. So this is our 360 picture. I'm just rotating this one using my mouse. So this is how our 360 picture is going to look like. So if you want to send your friends or family in email, you can just click on copy. So it's going to copy the link. And now if we paste this one here, this is what your friends are going to see. So they're going to get this one and they're going to look at your picture. We can also embed this in your websites by using the embed code here. Like this is the embed code. So let me show you how to embed this one on the website as well. So I copied the embed code. So I have like a WordPress website. So I have added a new page and uh, from the embed code I copied, I'm going to go into this text window here and command V. So basically this is how you just copy and paste it in your page wherever you want this one to show and you can preview it here so this is how it's going to look on your website as well you can use this one for the business purposes so this is how you edit and share 360 videos for free thanks for watching subscribe and stay tuned
as I will be uploading more 360 and virtual reality related videos.